homozygous Tobiano and homozygous black, uh, which is really nice, you know, valuable for breeding purposes. If anyone ever wanted to breed her in the future, she makes some nice babies. Um, so far, she's had uh, some saddling work done and uh, can you catch her, lead her, tie her, work on her feet. I hoping I could eat. <laughs> and uh, put her on a trailer. Um, but so far, we haven't started riding her yet, so she is available for a little bit longer at her current price. Um, just as we're real busy here and haven't had time to get her going riding wise, but once we do, her price is going to go up. Um, the only other little thing to note about this filly is that when she was born, um, she did come out with one leg that's a little bit turned out, and we had the vet look at her and did x rays and basically said that she was positioned poorly in the womb. It's not genetic. Both her parents have perfectly straight legs, and she has a full brother that has perfectly straight legs. And, uh, it's not going to affect her riding wise, but it is worth noting. We don't, we're not going to hide it. Um, and we'll show it's this left front leg here. It corrected itself a lot, like the vet yes. said that it would. Yep, so it corrected itself a lot. I mean, if you're just looking at her, you hardly even yeah. so notice it. Yeah. turned out a little bit at the knee. She's completely sound. Um, she runs out in the pasture um, of her own volition. Perfectly fine. She's never been unsound. Never been unsound. Like I said, we did x rays when she was a baby. There's no issues there, um, riding wise or breeding wise. You know, it's, it's not genetic. We confirm that with the vet. And, you know, like I said, both her parents and her full brother have perfectly straight legs. Um, she's an absolutely stunning filly. She's beautiful. And she's only two, and she has this much mane. So, mm -hmm. I mean, this mane's just going to keep growing. They don't usually have this much mane already at two years old. We think about, we like her so much that if uh, we thought about getting another stallion to breed to her, we like her that much. It's just that she's our bloodline, so yeah. we can't. Out of our main and we only have one stallion bloodlines yeah. currently. So. And uh, being that she's homozygous Tobiano and homozygous black, no matter what stallion you breed her to, she'll always produce spots and she'll never produce anything red based. Uh, so to the average stallion, she would produce bay and white Tobiano or black and white Tobiano. Um, and with the cream, she can produce buckskin and yeah, all kinds of cool stuff. Black, depending on what that, that stallion might also carry. What are her good points and bad points? Um, the bad point would be the leg. And, uh, she does want to get to know the people that, that she works with. Um, she does pay attention. She's sensitive. And uh, but she's already, we've got a saddle here. We saddle her up. And she's got another saddle. She does take a bit. Um, just hasn't been ridden yet. She's been too busy. We've had six babies this year and a lot going on. And training some horses in training. Yeah, so yeah. we've gotten busy. And what people don't realize, I don't think, sometimes is that we sell our, our youngsters anywhere from 2500 to 7500 depending on the baby and uh, but anyway once we uh, start them at two years old they sell almost immediately once Katie's put a couple of months training on them for 9500 so it, you know you get to bond with them if you buy a horse for $2,500 keep it for a couple of years they grow up really fast and you, they get to know you so it's fun you get to spoil them and pet on them and play with them and and then bring them back to Katie or take them to another trainer that you really like and in two or three months you've got the greatest trail horse on the planet that's worth twice what you've put into it, it yep. possibly it's actually cheaper if you buy them as a baby. way cheaper you get a half price riding horse at two so then what we'll sell them for if we hold on to them until they're two and mm -hmm. so i guess we'll just show her saddling i'm going to pause it for just a minute so we can get the saddle okay how many times do you think you've saddled her i started saddling her when she was like a weanling or a yearling just every once in a while 
Okay. So it's still kind of new to her. Okay. Yeah, I mean, she'll do a little tiny blend like a lot of the youngsters will, but not running off anywhere. Oh. And her mom is Aloha, who's one of our favorite mares. So, very good riding horse. Almost anybody can ride her. And our stallion, FRD Pure Luck, sure likes the sweetest guy on the planet. One of the prettiest horses I've ever seen. And just a pleasure to handle. So. Fine for baths, fly sprayer, um, all that good stuff. She's good for all that? chewing. Good girl. And we were going to see if we can get her to move around back here just freely so you can see her yep. nice movement. But she doesn't have any buck when you saddle her up. So she should be easy for somebody to train if they'd like to put in the effort and save a little money. And there you go.